So morning, folks. Morning, morning, morning. Welcome to uh, well worship, but fun as well. I hope this morning. I hope worship is often like that, but especially so this morning because for those of you who aren't normally with us at Ingleton at Christmas, um, this is our chapel nativity service. Uh, we share it with St Mary's and the other churches in Ingleton, um, but it's a time when we we hand over to our young people to tell the Christmas story in their own inimitable way. and uh, There are some fabulous, fabulous uh, offerings this morning. Uh, obviously, we couldn't gather, we can't tell our nativity story in our church. Um, so what's happened is people have been telling it in their own homes or on their farms or in front of their Christmas trees in their Christmas jumpers. <laughs> and there are some brilliant, brilliant offerings. I really, really hope you enjoy this morning. Uh, it'll be almost all run uh, and led by our children. Uh, we have a couple of other uh, offerings, but all you need is to, to sit back to enjoy, sing along when the songs come on, uh, cheer and holler when the children are uh, performing or, or have shared something. Um, do do be active in the comments. Do give uh, everyone your encouragement, uh, just as if you were in church. I know if we were in church, there'd be um, smiles and waves and uh, shouts of encouragement. And, and that's what we hope for this morning, uh, just because we can't physically be together. Oh boy, we can still be church together. Uh, a few mornings. Morning all from the Scots. Morning to you. Um, be well, Ollie. Uh, fab. Uh, contributions from you this morning thank you uh, Margaret Aston in Barrowford morning Margaret lovely to have you with us again 
um, Paula Tomlinson, Judith Woolley. Uh, morning from the Barkers. Morning to you guys from Lancliffe. Uh, Liz Allen watching. Hi, good to see you. Corey, uh, good morning. Emma Skeldon. And again, a, a lovely performance from James and Andrew uh, in our service this morning. Uh, they play a song for us, which is fab. Um, Eve Harding, good morning from Winchester. Morning to you, Eve. That I think at the minute is our furthest away, so it's lovely to have you on with us. Um, Emily Hacking, hi Emily, good to see you. Um, Caroline West, morning everyone, can't wait to see you all this afternoon. Yeah, I hope many of you are going to make it to the uh, carols, uh, driving carols in Ingleton this afternoon. It'd be really, really lovely um, to see you there. Philip Taylor, just finished my Christmas sausage roll straight from the oven. Oh, Phil, <laughs> I'll be waiting for the knock at the door. <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. Um, Kath Waller, morning from Nora. Morning, Nora. I know you don't manage to make it every week, but it's really, really lovely to have you with us. And I really hope that you enjoy um, and have a good laugh with the, the young folk and the families of our churches uh, this morning. Liz, morning, everyone. Mince pies for us. Blimey, everyone's starting early, aren't they? Sausage rolls, mince pies. Uh, Jill O'Donnell, morning all. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Jill. Um, David Taylor, uh, save a sausage roll, Philip, I think is his message there. <laughs> uh, and of course, Pam, morning to, and love to everyone. Uh, Rachel Whitfield, uh, morning to you and to the family. Uh, and the Hodgsons as well um, in Long Preston, good morning uh, to all of you. It is really, really lovely to have you with us this morning. I genuinely hope that you really enjoy our service. It will be as I say, um, young people and families to the fore. Uh, you won't hear a big sermon from me. There's nothing. Um, I'm just going to hang it together and introduce each piece. Um, but please do, please do give some encouragement to our young people and focus uh, as we go through our service. Let's just pray as we commit this time to God. Let's pray together. Love and God, we thank you that you called your church to be a family, to be your family, your brothers, sisters, sons and daughters. And you call us to celebrate together as one people. And so whether we're in our homes, whether we're scattered, it doesn't matter. We're still your people and one family. And I pray that you would join us today in the power of your spirit in a spirit of fun, laughter, as we celebrate God with us, our Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. I'm going to kick off our service this morning with uh, a lovely uh, traditional carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Stand 
deep and dreamless sleep The silence does go by Yet in the dark street shine The everlasting light And hopes and fears for all the years Are met in thee Fab song, isn't it? What a beautiful carol. Uh, definitely one of my favourites. Um, so a warm welcome to more people that have joined us. Um, Philip, I'm really disappointed to know that all of your sausage rolls have gone and there'll be none winging their way down, though. I mean, frankly, that's just not good enough. <laughs> uh, morning from the um, Hodgson's in uh, Bentham, as well as the Hodgson's in Long Preston. And fab contributions from everybody. In the, and Michelle, for your uh, singing and the songs that you do, thank you so much. They're, they're beautiful. Um, and morning, um, Judith Woolley. Morning, everyone. Um, Woolley Love sent your way. Uh, always well received. Thank you very much. <laughs> Spread out around the churches. Um, I think that was it. So look, a, a warm welcome if you've just joined us. Um, one thing I thought we might do this morning is, um, I know this is a bit cheesy, but but what's your favourite Christmas cracker joke? Uh, can you put that in the comments? I'd love to hear some funny jokes. The, 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 the funniest joke that I've seen this morning is, um, and I, I was having a look because there was something that's just come out that says these are the top cracker jokes. Well, if these are the top ones, I'll tell you, the standard is poor. The standard's poor. <laughs> Uh, why is Ingleton like ancient Bethlehem? Why is Ingleton like ancient Bethlehem? Because it takes a miracle to find three wise men. <laughs> and, and one more, one more before we go into our first nativity. Why did nobody bid for Rudolf and Blitzen on eBay? Why did nobody bid for Rudolf and Blitzen on eBay? Because they were too dear. <laughs> I know they're going to get worse they are going to get worse but wanna... <laughs> let's see some of your jokes come on let, let's uh, your best Christmas cracker jokes um, look we as I said earlier the, the idea of our nativity service is that we share nativity at home uh, and people have been busy filming in their houses in their fields in their barns uh, and our first contribution uh, our first one we're going to share is the most brilliant little thing put together by uh, the Lawsons and the Woolies um, so this is uh, done on their farm uh, Henry um, Lily and Silas I think uh, with a bit of a contribution in the background there from Emily and Judith so do enjoy this it's um, a, I've called it I've, I've called it a re proper Yorkshire nativity because I just think it's brilliant I really hope you enjoy it This is a long way. Shut up, Joseph. You're not the one who's going to give birth to the Son of God. Why are you so out there then? Because um, I'm just about to have a baby and you're not. Not so. Are we nearly there yet? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got to go a long way. We're traveling all the way to Bethlehem. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those whom his favour rests. They will call him Emmanuel. I don't know what to say after that. I just think that it's fabulous, isn't it? Just to get a sense. You know, we talk about God with us. We talk about Emmanuel and, and God being born among us. And then you see something filmed locally, filmed on a farm, Jesus born in a barn, knocking on our doors and asking if there's room. And you just think, what a wonderful telling of the Christmas story. What a wonderful invitation to make room for God in our lives, in our hearts and in our places. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that made that. Uh, it was just fab and it gave us such a laugh. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so a, a lot of love on Facebook as well. Thank you so much. Um, absolutely delightful. Uh, love it. Fantastic. Well done all. Lovely. We're, we're clapping for them. If only we could hear all the claps. Um, but thank you so much uh, to the Lawsons and the Woolies for that. Um, Emily Lawson, um, Lily has sent us a joke, which is, uh, where do, what do elves learn at school? <laughs> The alphabet, the alphabet. <laughs> of course, the problem with the alphabet at Christmas is that there's no L. <laughs> I know, I know, Jill, Jill, I should do exactly what you said. <laughs> you stick to the day job. <laughs> and, and Corey, where do elves go for treatment uh, for their vaccinations? To the elf service, to the elf service. <laughs> So look, give us more cracker jokes, more cracker jokes, please. I, I love them. And uh, yeah, really, really fab. We're, we're going to hear another story now, another Christmas at home. This one is uh, from uh, William and Ollie um, from the Scots uh, with B. Uh, and this is uh, unpacking 
Christmas um, and, and I love this just sat in front of the Christmas tree uh, unpacking what Christmas means. Two things we like about Christmas are decorating the Christmas tree and the nativity. Now we've got a very special nativity which is in a Russian doll and on the outside is the three kings or the three wise men and they are carrying with them gifts fit for a king. Gold, frankincense and myrrh and they followed a star all the way to Bethlehem. So if we open up that layer of the Russian doll inside is another one. Now we think this could be a shepherd because the shepherds were visited by an angel and they went to Bethlehem to find the saviour. But in this Russian doll we think this could be Joseph. So if we open up Joseph, inside there is another one. And here we have Mary. Mary, Jesus' mother. And if we open up that one, Oh, that's it, well done. So we will find and it pops out. another one and it's the angel. Now the angel was very, very busy visiting Joseph and Mary and the shepherds. And let's open up the angel and we'll see which one's next. It is getting smaller. It is getting smaller. We have, what's that? A donkey, that's right. And the donkey, a very long way to go from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem carried Mary and then do we think that's the end no, no. is there one more let's um, open up oh, there is let's see so, oh there's a tiny baby Jesus try and get that in focus there we go so the baby Jesus who is the center of the whole story and the most important part Thank you so much to the boys for that. Really, really fab. And, and let's share some love. Just when you think you're going to get to baby Jesus, a donkey pops out. <laughs> there are so many levels to that. I just can't believe that they're all inside each other. <laughs> I kept thinking we were going to get to Jesus. And then all there was was a donkey. <laughs> Look, thank you so much. Right, for our next thing, and I'm just going to give you a moment. For our next thing, you're going to need some jingle bells or something to, to play. If you haven't got any bells in the house, get yourself some spoons or some you can rattle or something you can shake um i i've got a, a, a bell to to tingle with um we got a brilliant song it's called chris kringle it's sung by philip uh, he's recorded it especially for us um so i really hope you're going to enjoy this um but you need some jingle bells you need something that you can uh, hold and shake and rattle uh, as philip sings Emmy Hodgson, uh, thank you so much, Emmy. Um, what do reindeer have that no other animals have? You haven't given me the punchline. Oh yeah, you have, just come up now. <laughs> what do reindeer have that no other reindeer have? Baby reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheesy i haven't heard that one i love it <laughs> thank you so much look i hope you've got your uh, your jingle bells uh, and let's go uh, to have this lovely song um do join in do sing along do dance around the room and do jingle your bells uh chris kringle by philip ho 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 everybody merry christmas Oh, I love this time of year, don't you? Um, I know I'm often very silly, but um, this time of year, you're allowed to be. You're allowed to be really silly. Um, oh, I'm looking forward to this afternoon's carol service. I hope you're coming. Um, I hope you're coming because we've got one special song for you. And I thought it would be a great idea to learn it this morning. Um so that's what we're going to do now the song is called chris kringle now that's the the name the americans give to father christmas uh, yes it's an american song but it became really popular in in yorkshire in parts of yorkshire um so we're going to sing it this afternoon uh, there are a few things you've got to do as well as sing First of all, you will need something, and I hope you'll bring it along, uh, something to jingle. I've got my jingly sleigh bells, and uh, anything will do that makes a jingly noise. Um, then the other thing is that whenever Father Christmas sings, ho, ho, you've got to sing, 
ho, ho. Only louder. Are you ready? Let's just practice that now. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Great. So, the, one more thing. After we've finished singing the chorus, there's a little tune I want you to, uh, to whistle. If you can't whistle, don't worry about it. Just sing anything. Uh, here we go. This is what, what it sounds like. As happy a sound as you can make. Right, let's get on with it. You'll know exactly what to do and when to do it. It's really obvious. I start off. Who comes this way so blithe and gay Upon this merry Christmas day So merrily, so cheerily With his peaked hat and reindeer sleigh with lots of toys for girls and boys Pretty as you ever did see This is Santa Claus as man Kris Kringle with his Christmas tree Ho, ho! Ho, ho! Ho, 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 ho! Then jingle, jingle Jingle, 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 right merry we shall be. Oh, jingle, jingle, come, Chris Kringle, come with your Christmas tree. And welcome, 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 Chris, right welcome you shall be. Oh, here he is, yes, yes, tis Chris, tis Chris with his Christmas tree. The Christmas tree, the Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Whistle. His sleigh bells ring with a merry jing As off its reefs the reindeer springs Gee up, gee ho, see how they go Away o'er ice and drifts of snow For he must call one and all His master's pretty pets you see Oh, this is Santa Claus as man Chris Kringle with his Christmas tree. Ho, 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 ho. Then jingle, 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 right merry we shall be. Oh, jingle, jingle, come Chris Kringle, come with your Christmas tree. And welcome, 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 Chris, right welcome you shall be. Oh, here it is, yes, yes, tis Chris, tis Chris with his Christmas tree. The Christmas tree, Christmas tree, the Christmas tree. Plums, trumpets and drums And lots of pretty things he comes So now be quick, your places take And all a merry circle make For now he's near, he'll soon appear And we his merry face will see Oh, welcome Santa Claus As man Kris Kringle with his Christmas tree Ho, 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 jingle, 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 right merry we shall be. Ho, oh, jingle, jingle, come Chris Kringle, come with the Christmas tree. And welcome, welcome, welcome Chris, right welcome you shall be. Oh, here he is, yes, yes, tis Chris, tis Chris with his Christmas tree, the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree. Last time. See you this afternoon. <laughs>
hope you were dancing around. I hope you were jingling bells. I hope you were singing and whistling. Uh, what a fab, fab song. Uh, and I do hope that you'll be able to join us this afternoon uh, for our carol service, our drive-in carols uh, up in Ingleton. It'll be lovely to see as many of you as we can. <sighs> I think we need a break from all that running around and jumping around. Uh, we're going to... Uh, listen now to Mike and Zephy uh, discussing what Christmas means to them. This really cracked me up. I love this. Um, Mike and Zephy, uh, what does Christmas mean to you? Hello. Today we'll be talking about Christmas. Christmas is when baby Jesus was given to the world as a gift. What do you think Christmas is about, It's also about sharing love and joy with your family and friends. No, Zephy, it's not just about presents. It's a oh, it's uh, it's also about helping homeless people. So if you walk past a homeless person. Some people would just walk past, but I give them like fish and chips or something. And no, Zephy, it's not just about presents. It's also about reflecting on the year Draw and drawing near to God. And <laughs> Weren't they brilliant? Just really, really fab. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> and of course, there's truth in it too, isn't there? I mean, Christmas is about presence, but it's also about presence, the presence of God among us, the Emmanuel, that God is with us. And so we celebrate uh, everything about that. Really wonderful. And thank you so much to Mikey and Zephy, and, and thank you to uh, Vicky and Dave. We're going to uh, just have a moment of... <sighs> And listen to a beautiful poem now, uh, which is read for us by um, Stephen and Sophie uh, Whitfield. I hope you enjoy this, uh, an original poem, and I really hope you love it. Smile. This is an original poem called In the Morning by Sophie. And Daddy. Silent night, then angels arrive, shepherds stirred under starlit skies. Sleepless night under faraway skies, hoping to hear Santa arrive. Hoping, waiting, waiting, hoping. The, the world, world is, is different, different in, in the, the morning. morning. Open our eyes at the crack of dawn. A present appear, snow covered lawn. Follow the star till the break of dawn in a humble stable. A king is born. Seeing, believing, feeling, knowing. The world, the world is, is different, different in, in the morning. morning. <laughs> what a joy it is. What a joy it is to listen to these, isn't it? It's just the most, most wonderful picture of Christmas celebrating together as families uh, thank you to everyone thank you to um, Stephen and Sophie for that it was absolutely brilliant um, we're going to hear another song now uh, it's played for us rather than sung uh, it's one that you'll know really really well uh, and it's Good King Wenceslas by uh, James and Andrew and the Skeldons Christmas to us is all about love and family this is Good King Wenceslas. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much for that. Uh, it takes a lot to have courage to do it and, and it was absolutely brilliant. We really loved it. Thank you so much to you both. Um, now, thank you to Emma too because um, I don't know if you boys know, but mum sent me uh, an outtake. So uh, apparently there are a few takes of that. And I, and I got the impression from a few people that there were multiple takes of a few of the things that we're showing today. Um, but Emma shared one of the outtakes with me. Um, so this, clearly the camera is beautifully balanced, just ready to watch the boys play uh, and, and, and do that good King Wenceslas. Um, just watch the camera. Not to do this, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing that. I, it was just, it was so made me laugh. It was just brilliant. And it's what we all dread. All of us that are doing things with cameras in, in, in this uh, pandemic time, you know, there are so many outtakes. It's just brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing. We're going to uh, watch a little story now and, and if um, hopefully some of you will have received a, a copy of a book that I sent to you um, called It Begins in Bethlehem. Uh, it's a, a story written by uh, and read by a brilliant Bob Hartman uh, and it tells the story of Christmas um, and I, I really love it and I just wanted to share it so um, let's just have a watch of this. It Begins in Bethlehem a nativity rhyme for Christmas time. A woman called Mary was doing her chores when an angel arrived, but not through the doors. He simply appeared, and she dropped to the floor. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. God is with me, she wondered. But what does that mean? What's this all about? Is it some kind of dream? The angel just smiled. Don't be scared. Please don't scream. God is happy with you and will bless you. God knocks down the proud and lifts up the meek and does mighty things for those who are weak, and blesses the ones whose service he seeks. So sing out his praise. He's amazing. You'll soon have a baby, the angel went on, a quite special baby called Jesus, God's son. The heir of King David, he'll sit on his throne, and his kingdom will last forever. But how, Mary asked, I don't understand. I'm engaged to be wed, but he's not yet my man. Trust God, said the angel. He's got it all planned. His spirit will come upon you. All night Joseph tossed, all night Joseph turned. He just couldn't sleep. He'd only just learned that Mary was pregnant. What's more, she'd confirmed that the baby she bore was not his. Joseph, don't worry. Joseph, don't weep. Lay down your head and go back to sleep. Mary's been faithful. Her love's strong and deep. And her baby is God's own son. He's the answer to all that the prophets have said, so keep your engagement, be glad, and be wed. And when Joseph woke up, that's just what he did. He took Mary to be his wife. One hump, two humps. The star watchers watched the stars go by, looking for secrets in the sky. And then they saw a special star away in the west, away off far. A king's been born, that's what it means, Judea way, or so it seems. They climbed aboard their camely beasts and set off west from their homes back east. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers went with a bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers followed the star. At last their journey came to an end. They parked their camels in Jerusalem. Then they went to Herod, king of the nation, to ask him for some information. O oh, king, they asked. They were quite polite. Somewhere round here on this starry night, a brand new baby king abides. Can you tell us where this child resides? Star Watch's friends, King Herod smiled. In Bethlehem you'll find the child. Would you tell me where you find him, please? The exact address would put my mind at ease. Herod, of course, told them a lie. He'd already planned for the child to die. When he found the boy, that's what he'd do. So the Star Watchers left without a clue. The shining star led them to the place, a simple house, not some fancy space. And when they saw the little boy, they gave him a pile of special toys. Presents, rather, fit for a king. 
a bunch of shiny golden things, a spice called myrrh, a sort of perfume, while smelling frankincense filled the room. Then in the night, they had a dream that showed them Herod's evil scheme. So they never said where the boy's house lay, but went straight home by another way. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers went with a bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpity lump. The star watchers followed the star. So what is the point of angels and shepherds and camels and stars, you say? Is it just a nice story to tell the children to celebrate Christmas Day? It's not just a story. It's not just for kids. It's the hinge on which history swings. That Bethlehem baby grew into a man who challenged all powers and kings. He taught us that love is better than hate that serving beats being in charge. He showed us the value of each human life, the little as well as the large. And then on a cross, he died for us all, died to take all our wrongs away, and walked three days later right out of his tomb to turn death's dark night to day. And that is the good news the angels proclaimed, the heart of all Jesus would do, a new life for now, a new life forever. That's his Christmas present to you. I hope you enjoyed that. that a brilliant poem um, written and read by Bob Hartman, which I, I really love. And, and all it says is not as eloquently as Mikey and Zephy said it, but God's given us a wonderful present, the, the best present of all time, which is the gift of his son that we might not fear death, that we might not fear anything in this life, but know his love, know his presence, and know his life in and around us all. Michelle's done a beautiful thing for us now, um, Silent Night, um, and she's illustrated this uh, lovely song for us. So let's uh, just enjoy Silent Night, by, uh, sung and illustrated by Michelle.
Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for that. Uh, really, really lovely. And a moment of calm before the madness, <laughs> the madness of our next item. So this was sent to me this week from... Um, all the way via the broadband of Cellside, uh, which frankly isn't the best, um, but this is really wonderful. <laughs> so apparently Rosa Wilson just heard me talk about doing Nativity at Home, really wanted to do something, and uh, and so they've got together up there and, and put this together on, on what was really, really not the best of days. <laughs> In fact, it's a pretty wet old day, but it does remind you that, you know, it may not have been the best weather. And we imagine these starlit nights and um, Mary and Joseph walking along, but it, it may not have been. It may have been exactly like this was up in Cellside. I do enjoy this. A Cellside Christmas story. Our story starts with a young girl called Mary who lived in a town called Nazareth. The angel Gabriel visited her, telling her she would have a son. This event changed her life and the lives of every person who ever lived. He was to be the son of God, to save his people from their sins. This was rather a surprise to a carpenter called Joseph, Mary's husband-to-be. Joseph knew the child was not his and so thought it would be best to quietly call off the marriage. That night, however, Joseph was told in a dream that he should marry Mary. His child was not to be born of any man, but by the Spirit of God. He was to be called Jesus. At that time, Joseph and Mary had to travel to Bethlehem to pay a tax to the Roman government which ruled in Israel. Shepherds came that way, where the baby lay. Whilst they were there, the time had come for Mary to have her baby. The town was full of many people. Mary and Joseph needed somewhere private to stay, where the child could be born, but everywhere was full. The only place that was available was a cold cattle shed. And there amongst the sheep, calf and Bethlehem, the baby, the son of God, was born. Meanwhile, on a peaceful hilltop, there were shepherds looking after their flock of sheep. For a boy was born. All was normal. When suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared. They were absolutely terrified, but the angel said, Don't be afraid, for in Bethlehem a saviour has been born, Christ the Lord. You'll find him in the stable. So they set off to visit the baby and took a lamb as a gift for the king. Meanwhile, far away, wise men saw a new special star in the sky. On the way, they stopped at Herod's palace, hoping to find the baby king. But the king they were looking for was born in a lowly stable in Bethlehem. Guided by the star, they travelled all the way to Bethlehem, and eventually the star came to rest over the stable. The wise men brought gifts to Jesus, gold, frankincense and myrrh Jesus is different to us he lived a perfect life he never sinned and was always kind loving patient obedient and courageous he kept all God's commandments Jesus gave his life at Calvary to take all our sins away. 
When he rose to life again, he gave us the gift of being able to live with him forever in heaven. Because of this great event in Mary's life and all that Jesus achieved in his, we will always and forever remember the first Christmas. I mean, what do you say after that? It's just <laughs> every single time, and I've watched it about a dozen times now, putting it together. Um, every single time the, the, the angel comes up from behind the shepherds, behind the dry stone wall, whoa, oh, I just crack up laughing. <laughs> Look, thank you so much. And what a lovely reminder that God is among us. God is with us. God is born in our homes, on our farms, in our churches, in our communities. Uh, God lives in all of these places, in all weathers, in all circumstances. God lives with us. What a fabulous, fabulous thing. And thank you so much to everybody that contributed to that. Um, just really, really brilliant. Uh, I hope you loved it. Um, a couple of uh, final cracker jokes. Um, what do you get if you eat a Christmas decoration? Tinselitis. <laughs> Tinselitis. Um, and Judith Woolley, how does good King Wenceslas like his pizza? Deep pan, crisp and even. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Thank you to everybody. On oh, Dave Shaw, uh, what did Adam say the day before Christmas? What did Adam say the day before Christmas? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Just fabulous. Thank you to everyone for contributions so far. We've got a couple left. Uh, and this is going to change the mood a little, but it's really, really lovely. Just a way to calm and still ourselves before we, we finish. Um, this is Rachel and Lydia singing the beautiful Away in a Manger. Lydia and I are going to sing Away in a Manger. It's just so brilliant, isn't it? And look, to everybody that's contributed to this service, what a joy. 
when the Methodist Church said to me, go to Settle and Ingleton, they didn't tell me, go to a place of such talent, such joy, uh, a place where God dwells amongst the people. But what a joy this morning has been. Um, I hope you have felt God's presence in our homes, in the nativity stories that we've told. And I hope that the gift of Christ is a, a deep and meaningful present to your heart, to your soul, and that you receive him fully this Christmas time. Thank you so much to everyone that's contributed. I can't name you all, but it's just a privilege and I feel a little overwhelmed uh, with everything that's been shared and everything that's been given. Uh, we're going to finish with uh, our final contribution for the morning. Um, this beautiful, we wish you a Merry Christmas from the Long Preston Hodgson's. We And it only falls to me then to wish you a very, very, very happy Christmas. If you're going to be at Driving Carols this afternoon, then I look forward to seeing you there. If you aren't able to make that um, and I don't see you before, then have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed all the contributions today. Um, thank you so much to everybody um, that's contributed and done something. It has really been a pleasure and a joy uh, and an absolute privilege. Um, uh, one thing I should say, uh, uh, we, we began this uh, Advent season with a couple of uh, brilliant monologues from, from Jill from Settle. Uh, I, they haven't been lost. I said we'd carry them on till Christmas. I'm going to post them separately on the Facebook pages. Do catch up with those as well. Uh, our podcast reflections are carrying on through until uh, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Uh, I've got one or two more to do and then Stephen picks up with our final reflections uh, across Christmas uh, and I just wish you the happiest and best of times and thank you so much for joining us. God bless. <laughs>